Welcome to another math session here in Soviet with Sir Jude. Today we are going to discuss about the cosine law or in other references they call it as law of cosines. To be specific, we will be dealing about the SAS and SSS patterns. So just to recall about oblique triangle, an oblique triangle is a triangle with no right angle. So your oblique triangle can be an acute triangle or an obtuse triangle. So right triangles can be solved using trigonometric ratios. We have the Sokotoa and then using the Pythagorean theorem. While when we are dealing with oblique triangles, they can be solved using the sine law, yung na-discuss natin yung previous video lesson, and then the second one, the cosine law, in which we will discuss for today. So, sine law and cosine law can also be applied in right triangles. But in this video lessons, in the following examples that we will show, it will focus on oblique triangles. So, sine law can be used if the given information follow the patterns ASA, AAS, or SAA pattern, and of course, the ambiguous case SSA pattern. How about cosine law? So, cosine law or the law of cosines or the cosine formula or the cosine rule is an equation stating that the square of the length of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides minus the product of twice the product of the two sides and the cosine of the angle between them. So for us to formulate or the formula here, so suppose that we have here a triangle ABC. So we now have the sides A, which is the side opposite angle A. We have side B, which is the side opposite angle B. And we, we have side C, which is considered as the side opposite angle C. So given two sides and an included angle, let us apply the cosine law. So the square of the length of one side, let us suppose that the first side that we are going to consider is A. So that will be square of the length of one side, so that will be A squared, is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So the other two sides will be B and C. So we need to add their squares. So that will just be B squared plus C squared. And then, minus the product of twice the product of the two sides. So that will be minus twice the product of the two sides. Other sides, that will be B times C. Times cosine of the angle between them. So the angle between B and C, so that will be angle A. So this is the first formula in cosine law. So there are still two more formulas in getting the sides of an oblique triangle using cosine law. So let us consider B. So that will be B squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So that will be A squared plus C squared minus the product of twice the two sides. So the two sides is A and C. So that will be twice. So 2AC. And then times the cosine of the angle between them which is cosine B. And then the last one if we are going to consider C as our last side or given side, so that will now be C squared, is equal to A squared plus B squared minus twice the measures of the two sides, which is AB. So we have 2AB times cosine C. So these are the three uh, formula that we are going to use in cosine law. Specifically, when we are going to find the length of the unknown side of an oblique triangle. So, itong tatlo na to, meron siyang counterpart. Papaano naman kapag ka, ang hinahanap natin ay angles? Take note ng isa sa mga patterns na we are going to deal with about cosine law is SSS. Yung given three sides, papaano kuwain yung mga angles? So, the derivation for number one, if we are going to get angle A, so we will be using cosine A is equal to B squared plus C squared minus A squared all over 2PC. Kapag naman hinahanap si B, we will be using cosine B is equal to A squared plus C squared minus B squared all over 2AC. And then the last one, if we are going to get angle C, we will be using cosine C is equal to A squared plus B squared minus C squared all over 2AC. So now, when to use cosine law? So cosine law can be used when two sides and an included angle are given if the pattern is SAS. And then the other one if three sides of the oblique triangle are given or following the pattern SSS. So yung SAS at SSS is the pattern of 
the given information in an object triangle follows those two, we can use Poisson law. So let us now um, answer some of the problems given in Tip Trying, one of your learning tasks. So we will be answering numbers 2 in letter A. So given two sides and an included angle. And for letter B, we will be answering number 1. So let us now proceed to the first test in Tip Trying, number 2. So for X, given two sides and an included angle, then we need to round off our answer to the nearest hundreds or nearest two decimal places. So if you can see, we have there the given triangle ABC, where in side C measures 8, so therefore side C is equal to 8. And then the opposite of angle B, which is 5, that will be side B. And then we are also given with that included angle that measures 130 degrees. And we are now asked to find what is the length of the side opposite angle A, which is represented by X. And take note, X is also equal to A, since it is the side opposite angle A. So let us now find the length of side A, or simply X. Since it follows, yung mga given information ng ating oblique triangle follows FAS pattern, therefore we can use cosine law. So, what particular formula in cosine law? So, we will be using A. Since A yung hinahanap. So, that will be A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times cosine A. So, in order for us to get the value of A, we need to extract the square roots of both sides of the equation. So, we now have A is equal to the square root of B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times cosine A. So, let us now um, substitute the given information. So, upon substitution, ito yung pinalabasan. And if we are going to encode this one in our scientific calculators, it will produce an approximate value. A is approximately 11.85002 followed by ellipsis dots since it is a non-terminating number. So, we need to round this off to the nearest hundred. So, therefore, that will just be A or simply X since they are equivalent is equal to 11.85 or simply 11 and 85 hundreds. There. So, kung yun ang tano, kung ano yung value ni X or ni side A, you will end up with 11.85. But how about if you are going to have a follow-up question? How to find the measures of the remaining angles? So, take note that we have three angles here. We have angle A, B, and C. Pero isa sa kanila ang given, which is angle A. That measures 130 degrees. Papaano natin kukuhain yung measure ni angle B at ni angle C? So, if you can remember, meron tayong counterparts. Kapag kinukuha yung side at kinukuha yung angle. Since, let us first have the measure of angle C. So, how are we going to get the measure of angle C? So, we will be using the formula for sin C is equal to A squared plus B squared minus C squared all over 2AB. So, kung mapapansin mo doon sa anim na formula na na derived natin kanina, kailangan kabisado mo yun. Or at least na take note mo para at least makasabay ka for this discussion. And then, let us now um, substitute the given. So that will be cosine C is equal to 11.85 squared. So since, since that is the value of A, and then B is 5, so 5 squared minus the value of C, which is 8 squared. All over 2 times the value of A, which is 11.85 times 5, which is the value of B. So, if you are going to encode this in your scientific calculator, you will now have an approximate value of 0 0.8559. So, that will be the value of cosine C. Ang hinahanap natin yung mismong angle. So, therefore, we need to get the arc cosine of the given value which is 0 0.8559. So, kapag ka ginawa mo to sa scientific calculator mo, you just need to press shift. And then, press cosine. So, magkakaroon dyan ng arc cosine or cosine raised to negative 1. And then, encode 0 0.8559. So, if you are going to encode it, you, will, you should end up with C is equal to 31.14 degrees. So, do not forget the symbol for degrees since we are speaking about angles. So, nakuha na natin yung measure ni angle C which is 31.14. So, ang kabuhain na lang natin will be the measure of angle B. So, madali na lang yan. Since we are given with two angles, kaya na natin kuwain si measure ni angle B. Papaano? Kailangan lang natin i-add yung dalawang given angles and isubtract natin 
from 180. So, upon substitution, that will be 180 minus the sum of 130 and 31.14. So, if we are going to add them, it will result to 161.14. Let us subtract it from 180. So, therefore, angle B is 18.86 or it has a measure of 18.86 degrees. So, to check if your answer is correct, you just need to add all the angles. The angle must add up to 180. So, next, tapos na natin kuhain yung mga measure ng angles and sides ng unang triangles. So, we are already accomplished solving that triangle. So, let us now proceed with quick trying letter B number 1. Wherein, we need to solve for the value of x. In this time, we are to solve for the angle given three sides of the oblique triangle. Again, we need to round the answer to the nearest hundreds. So, let us suppose that this is our triangle ABC. So, as provided in your module. So, the side opposite angle A measures 6. So, therefore, that is side A. Next, the side opposite angle B measures 5. So, therefore, that will be side B. And the last one, the side opposite angle C measures 10. So, therefore, this 10 is simply the measure of side C. Next, we are to find the measure of angle X or angle C. Since it follows the SSS pattern, we can use the cosine law. So, find the measure of angle C or angle X. So, we will be using cosine C is equal to A squared plus B squared minus C squared all over 2AB since we are looking for the measure of angle C. So, next, let us substitute. So, upon substitution, we obtain this equation. 6 squared plus 5 squared minus 10 squared all over 2 times 6 times 5. So, if you are going to encode in the scientific calculator, we will now have cosine C which is equal to negative 0.65. Next, we need to get the arc cosine of the given value negative 0.65. So, that will be cosine raised to negative 1 times negative 0.65. You simply press shift, then cosine, and then encode negative 0.65. So therefore, the measure of angle C is equal to 130.54 degrees. So kung ang question sa'yo is to solve for angle X or simply angle C, that will now be the end of our solution, 130.54. And if you can see, the angle is an obtuse angle. So therefore, we can conclude that this triangle should be an obtuse triangle. So, papaano naman kung may follow-up question? Find the measure of the remaining angle. So, by the way, tinama natin yung ating oblique triangle since ang measure ni angle C ay 130.54 degrees which is an obtuse angle. So, let us now find the measure of angle A. So, papaano kuwain yung measure ni angle A? So, we will be using the formula na merong angle A. So, that will be cosine A is equal to B squared plus C squared minus A squared all over 2BC. And if we are going to uh, substitute the given information, we will obtain 5 squared plus 10 squared minus 6 squared all over 2 times 5 times 10. And if you are going to encode in your scientific calculator, the result will now be 0 0.89. We need to get the value of angle A. So therefore, we need to get the arc cosine of 0 0.89. So again, press shift and then cosine and then 0 0.89. So the result must be 27.13 degrees. Since we already have the measure of two angles A and C, to be exact, let us now find the measure of angle B. Papaano nga ba ulit kukuha si angle B? Since we are given with two angles, Madali na natin makukuha si angle B. We just need to add the two given angles, then subtract it from 180. Then let us substitute. Then get the, uh, the sum of 27.13 and 130.54. So that will now be 157.67. Let us subtract the sum from 180. So therefore, angle B is equal to 22.33. Hence, we can say that angle B measures 22.33 degrees. So, if you can see, all the sides and angles are already completed with their respective measures. So, therefore, we are done solving this triangle. So, this will be the end of our discussion about cosine law or law of cosines to the specific dealing about SAS and FSS patterns. 
So this topic is the second to the last topic in your um, learning module. Ang kasunod nito will be the word problems involving oblique triangles. So if you've learned something for today about cosine law, do not forget to like this video, share this video to others for us to help them in answering their modules and their learning tasks. And then if you are new to our channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more video lessons. So this is Sir Jude. Good day.